Okay, mission three of this Let's Play of Devil May Cry 4. Hopefully my mic should sound a lot better now. I think I fixed most of the problems with it. Anyways. We're going to grab some new skills first and foremost. Stuff for the Red, red Queen here. Roulette Spin is an aerial attack that we're going to grab. It's really good. And Split is Nero's version of the Helm Splitter that Dante used to have. We're also going to grab an ability... Uh, speed up. Basically, if you just run in a direction for long enough, you go into like a speed mode where you just run really fast. It's got a little nifty trick to it, also. That's all for now, and let's get this started. When we last left off, we were in a mine, so we're still in a mine. Yep. This is the speed burst right here. Ah, I missed. This is roulette spin. It is awesome. Oops, didn't even do that. I'm not done here yet. Now I'm done. Anyways, on over here in the back end of this little hallway here. Another red crystal formation. Not these things are quite as useful as they used to be back in three and one, but whatever. Still something. Besides, the game is judging you on how many red orbs you collect for some reason. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of double bringer things here, and I don't understand why they're there. Because how the fuck else are you supposed to get up here? So that little that little soiree right there is a. Uh, way to get up here to this blue orb fragment. You don't have to go up here, obviously. And basically, you just gotta jump off that wall to make sure that you can do a wall climb and continue going. That's our fourth blue orb fragment, so there we go. Time to go to the blue orb. Just gonna drop down here, grab this red orb. I should be able to grab these and keep going. Now, actually, if I keep facing this way, there's a blue orb fragment across from me. I can't get it yet because I don't have air hike. Don't worry, we'll get it though. As you can see, the roulette spin is awesome. And split is home splitter. There's really nothing different about it. Come on! Still fun to do even if you don't get stuff for it. In this little hallway over there, there's a vital star. Not that we need it. And I'm never going to use it. Okay, here we go. So, in la one of those last cutscenes, Nero was talking about going to this Fortuna Castle. This is the way to get there. Also, the speed boost continues going even if you jump, so it's pretty nifty. Archie Willows. That is the castle. We were spending a decent amount of the game there. Frosts, one of the new enemies in this game. Ah, oh, they're so annoying. When they start shooting shit at you, it, uh, it's a little tricky to deal with. Your throw, though, is a great way to keep them separated. Usually just throw one away, then deal with the other one. 
As long as you only have to fight one of them at a time, they're not too bad. And there we go. Anyways, on top of these two pillars over here, uh, we got some red orbs. There's secret locations in the game, just like in 3, where you can get to a location and the game will give you some red orbs for it. Hey, if you want to get an S rank for the red orb thing, then you might want to grab those. Anyways, we'll talk more about the frosts later because they become a more significant enemy as the game goes on. Thanks. You're from the Order? I've never seen you before. I'm new. Gloria. You're Nero, right? I've heard rumors. Hasn't everyone? Quite a few, in fact. And none too flattering. So, what's the deal? Where are they coming from? It's strange. No matter the number you kill, more will come. <sighs> then I'll leave that chore to you. I've got some personal slaying to take care of. I'll join with the others. We'll take care of them. May the Savior be with you on your journey. <laughs> Savior. Yeah. About that. About this game. Anyways. Welcome to Fortuna Castle. We're spending quite some time here for a little bit. Great, we get the point. So, first things first, I want to Why? There's red orbs. Why not? Doesn't take long either, so... Fuck you, chair. Good enough. Alright, so we're gonna head through this first bottom right hand door. Yeah, there's some enemies, of course, here. I wouldn't be. Right, Takes care of them. There's some red orbs on the sides of these rooms here. Don't worry too much about them. But in here, I can grab some more. 
be. Now, if I keep going down this way, I get stuck. You get hit by fireball, and you can't go any further. You'll see why later. In further missions will be able to progress further into the castle. Down you go. That's the Helm Splitter, or Split, I should say, version of the Exceed. Nero just basically goes down directly on them with the sword, and it makes a little shockwave of fire, so... Yeah, the stronger... the more Exceed you get, the stronger it gets, the wider area that it encompasses. So... So you can do a little drop kick across the taunt button as you have your speed up going. It's actually a pretty nice way to separate enemies from each other. Especially when you don't want to deal with a lot of them at the same time. You did. And there's a couple more on the other side over here. Let's clean these idiots up. Really far away. Hello. Oh my god. No, whatever. Anyway, so that takes care of all the enemies in this little area here. I can't go any further down that main way, but I can keep going over to the left here. Torture chamber. Oh, they're torturing you by having to fight on some shitty enemies? Yes. I knew that happened. Oh, they're coming a mile away. those assholes, so on we go. This torture chamber room is kind of shitty. I don't like it. You have the chance of dropping down into there again and fighting more enemies, which makes this little area be pretty lengthy. Uh, so the idea is that you have to make sure that you pull this off right. So, what am I talking about? Well, this little thing. I have to grab these Delbringer things. Floaty things to make my way across here, and if I mess up the angle, you go right up into the spikes. So we'll go across here first, and across there. Now they become a little bit trickier. This one moves left and right, so you gotta wait for it to line up. And these ones appear right away, but just go across the same CM and you be okay. These. This last one you wanna wait for it to line up too. And grab the last one, and you're done. Now, if I miss any of those, you go back down there, and you have to do it all over again. Plus, you have to fight all the enemies in the torture chamber, which is really annoying. Especially if you're trying to go for an S rank or your time. Anyways, up here, there's actually a hidden red orb formation, but I can't get it until later. And we're outside, we're basically just making a loop around the castle so we get onto the other side of the balcony up there. Put some more frosts. Drop kicking helps a lot. I don't want to deal with that asshole. Fuck you! That takes care of one. Uh, so annoying. I 
Now, this is another little move that the Frost can do, where they go into a little shell and they try to regenerate their health. But you just blow it up, they die, so... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't really help them that much. There's the castle's little waterfall here. You know, we can't go any further here, but there is a vital star up there. Might as well grab it. Uh. Basically, if you need a little extra height, just use the Devil Bringer to use a buster attack and you float there for a sec, so it helps. Over here we got another agitator, but look at this. By your hand you cannot break our class. That power lies in another's grasp. Cute. Okay, so we're on the other side of the courtyard here. And of course, there's snow, we got more frost fight. And I missed. You use Buster to throw away this asshole. Go away. Go away. Now this asshole's trying to hide here. Oh boy. You can see he got a little bit of health back. Not too much, thankfully. But still something. Go away. And you are dead. I just won't die. Capcom game, so I have to make a move like dashing in Mega Man X when I go through a door. Uh, up here, there's another holy water. Or should I say, our first holy water? You can get it by doing a little grab in the air. Uh, holy water is an item that does damage to every enemy on the screen. I will never use it though. And once you pass through there, you're basically trapped in this little room, and to break it, you just have to hit that switch. But first, this mirror over here. Oh, broken. Side. They blew our fragment. So there's no reason not to get that. Let's activate this switch here. And it turns off all these little force field things around the upper area. So that we can keep going. Charge up the next seed. And then head on through. And we're in a gallery here and there's more enemies of course. We're back to Scarecrows, no more Frost for a bit. What's Take care of those assholes. Game will let us keep going. There's a couple of uh, things around here that I can break for red orbs, so I might as well. Head on through, and I think it's this one here. You can actually climb on these, which is kind of stupid. There and it, it this is really not worth it, by the way. And you can get up top here. For red orbs, yeah, it's about two thousand there, <laughs> but it's kind of stupid.
Didn't figure this guy for a bookworm. That's one way to get yourself shot. So, you after this guy too, or just here to catch some demons? Silent type, huh? Well, that's annoying. Watch your friendly banter. Now these guys are Bianco and The interesting thing about them is if you grab them with Devil Ringer, you go towards them, not the other way around. So it makes things a little different. Uh, they are strong from the front, but they have a shield there, and they can also fly. So that's kind of why the Devil Ringer helps when you go towards them, because you can catch them when they're flying. The best way to attack him is go behind him. If you grab him with your Devil Bringer and go for a buster, you do this to them! And of course, Blue Velvet is completely useless as usual. Now, the buster attack is quite a bit of damage. It also sends a fly. You can actually do it to other enemies. Well, not much else to do here. Grabbing red orbs. Some stuff in these pots. They're just green orbs. And uh, that's it, we're done. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll get us a couple new moves in the next mission at least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that takes care of that. Mission 3 for this LP. Uh, next time... I think we've got a boss battle coming up or something like that. So good stuff. Uh, tune in next time. Thanks a lot for watching.